like that. Lord, I got an AR-15. <laughs> I'm gonna use it on the old <laughs> They're fighting fudge rounds. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he was able to write the fudge round. Man, I not have to pay for the old beast fudge round. <laughs> I'm glad you highlighted the fudge rounds because that's what really got me in the whole song. Yeah, the fudge rounds. Like, I mean, like theoretically, that is what they're talking about. There's two things about that about. song that add to it and make it more raw in the sense that it's got shit in that sounds like he just like. Throw, throw it. Throw it. <laughs> he, he had like a box of fudge rounds next to him. He's like, I'm eating these fucking fudge rounds right now. Like, wow. You know, it's like, literally, he's like, it sounds like he's in the grocery store and there's a fat lady with fudge rounds. She's like, I'm going to use my snap card for this. And he's like, <laughs> motherfucking old <laughs> Fudge rounds aren't even that expensive. Hey, don't start recording yet because i got to get in character. Are you shitting me? Are you no. fucking shitting me? No. You just sing about the government. Let me smoke some air. I'm gonna smoke some marijuana. We've been recording for 20 minutes. And no one seems to care. Nobody wants to hear like, Ooh, the setup. Too hot. That's a pretty good setup. Actually, no. I think the setup is actually uh, pivotal. It's supposed to be found footage. That's you know? Oh, God. Oh, God. What do you mean? Now that we know Bitches love Ace A. Sorry. Hey, did. tell me when we're ready to start because I'm gonna do an intro. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bachelor Science Podcast, uh, an odyssey of ignorance. What's it called? Um, it's Bachelor the BS Science. Podcast. BS. Yep. Is, it, is it started right now? Yeah, we're on right now. <laughs> Can I do it? Yeah, Can do, I do it. Intro? We got a special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Don't obese started. people, people eating fudge rounds. <laughs> All right, yeah. Welcome to this podcast. We got comedian Conrad Linsmeyer. We got comedian Kyle Real. We got a guy named John Hunter, Blue Lives Matter. That's my hetero life, mate. And we're gonna. <laughs> I got some. I got some ideas I'd like to share with everybody because I want them to be heard by Conrad's eleven listeners. All right, now, uh, Kenneth, uh, can I stop you for a moment? Kenneth Crab. Have you? you get okay, to the, all right, Kenneth all right. Crabgrass, real name, no, no gimmick, gimmick, recording live from Crab Vegas, Hog Eye, Arkansas. Back to you, Conrad. <laughs> nope. Check the levels. I'm supposed to be like this, right? Are we safe? No, we're level. All right, we are on the level. All right. What are you drinking, Kenny? I got a thing of water. I got some tea in there. Yeah. <laughs> one, one of the things I think is stupid uh, just out of the gate about this podcast is that you, t you text message people to be on the podcast, and you're like, yeah, it's found footage. <laughs> but it's not found if you're texting people. All right, well, I'm, good th I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I have editing control. Uh, over the podcast, uh, it, could you press the red uh, circular button there? Yeah, all right, cool. That's a marker. I know to address that now. Um, <laughs> we got, Why'd you put the marker on the pod? What does that do? Uh, it leaves a little. It leaves a little uh, visual tick so that I can go back and address how somebody said something so offensive earlier. Um, Kyle Rill's got a little visual tick in the front of his pants. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be the it's gonna be the cover of the uh, the episode. Here we on go. On YouTube, yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, I did it again to you. Cover of the episode. I marked you again. <laughs> All right, please stop throwing down erroneous markers. Okay. Be... <laughs> hey, where? <laughs> what? Let's go around the room They're real quick. Be, you shouldn't have button. given me that power. <laughs> it's going to my head. I didn't head. think that you'd become sentient. <laughs> <laughs> it went to my head already. Yeah. In the past two days, there's been a big national development. Let's go around the room and in the in the Oliver Anthony. U.S. Revolution, which side are y'all on? Are y'all going to be on the, the side of good or the side of uh, opposed to Oliver Anthony? Is Oliver Anthony the latest country sensation with two first names? Yeah. Oh, he's he's more than a country <laughs> sensation. He speaks for the common man, all the little crab heads out there. And 
<laughs> sheet rockers and everybody wall else. Wallers, dry wallers, wet wallers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talked about Epstein's Island too. And that's Whoa, did he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Did he drop Epstein's Island? He did. Yeah, he did. He no, he really? This, yeah, I know this is going to be dated because if anybody ever listens to this, I'm sure that there'll be a lot of drama to follow the song. And He's everything, probably going to be bigger by then. I'm not going to so. release this until the memory card fills up. So. <laughs> hey, I like how you eat while you're podding. That's good. The, it's did you footage. get any more peppers it's on that? It's found footage. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't find the peppers. Thank God. So Oliver Anthony, here's the stuff he covers. And one of the most important problem facing us is oh, obese people <laughs> eating fudge rounds. I don't know if y'all knew that. He's like, fudge he's round. on the cusp. He's on the verge of He's yeah. on the cusp, dude. Oh, no, I bet he's got like a, an aunt without a foot or something. It's paying for people who are eating fudge rounds. Yeah, no, so he it's doesn't eat fudge them. rounds himself. See? I'm down in a mine, <laughs> working all day. Buying fudge rounds for these obese babes. <laughs> Need a long A rhyme on that, Conrad. I like how Conrad's the one good at guitar, but he's the one without one. Yeah, no. Have you seen that fruity little guitar? He's got the little orange one. <laughs> no, it's a nice it's like, guitar. Yeah. Like a it's really, really nice. I feel like you're. I gave it to a guy that plays it like a drum, and he like he didn't beat the shit out of mine out of respect, and I. I'm happy he didn't, because I'd have had to get involved. I play I play this guitar like an eight. This is a lot of guitar for 180 bucks. I'll tell you. No, you left that in the rain and shit. And I did leave it in the rain one time. Yep, and then he got sponsored guitar. by Summit after that somehow. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Incredible pull for you. Wow. I <laughs> Summit race. How much? How much is ad space on Kenny Crabgrass's guitar? Okay. Okay. How about this, everybody? Uh, in the intro, we got super into Oliver Ant Anthony. And then, and then we did, we neglected to, all right, we got sexy Kyle, real car salesman. We got, uh, John, undercover cop. Uh, Call him fudge round. Fudge round. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Kenny Crabgrass. Real Kenny name. Crabgrass, real name, no name. <laughs> lawnmower specialist. Professional lawnmower and country musician. Do you have an agenda for this or do you and these people just talk? It's found footage. So it's found funny. It's like the Blair <laughs> Can't have an agenda if it's found. I like to put as little effort into the planning process as I can and just try to like get the ball rolling and then see where it goes. Hot take. I take Donnie J. Trump over DeSantis. Oh. Yeah, no. I mean, you like, like Trump over DeSantis? All day long. I don't know he much no about DeSantis, but I know that Trump is really funny. I'm just, whatever candidate Oliver Anthony endorses is going to be the one I yeah, go with. That's going to be 44. <laughs> That's gonna yeah. be the comb over supreme. <laughs> uh, without a doubt, Cheeto man. Come on, brother. Till we die. That DeSantis, guy, dude. He ain't got. DeSantis ain't got no charisma. I got more charisma. In my zero little pinky zero riz. Yeah, no. no Oliver Anthony. He makes a lot of good points. He, he makes a lot, a lot of, of good points. points. People say, "Fudge rounds." What about like the miners? Those. What about what's going on on the island? People say that. <laughs> yeah, wait, you like miners, dude? <laughs> so, well, he's talking about coal miners because he's oh, from West okay. Virginia. Okay. And then he also talks about Epstein's Island. I thought we were talking about Chris Hansen. Yeah, you said Epstein's Island. I was going Chris yeah. Hansen. He talks about. How <laughs> come <laughs> politicians don't care about the miners <laughs> on the island? They do care. They care if the story. I'm, so here's here's a little question I had. Yeah. These presidents get Secret Service for perpetuity. So do you think the Secret Service men go to Epstein's Island with them? Yeah. Without a doubt, yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah, there's a lot of people who national could... national security. There's a lot of people who could squeal on them. But they got know? like the, the... They got the tired pin. They got the pin. Yeah, they like got 19, like an NDA with like know? a brain chip that blows your head up. And... <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. you think that <laughs> these... Straight up Amanda Waller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't speak. If you think that these politicians are... Like normal humans, then you're wrong. They're reptilians. Well, yeah, they're fourth dimensional reptilians. Yeah. I, I take personal offense to that as a reptile and uh, <laughs> a politician. Uh, you know, and a dolphin, a water, reptile, the, <laughs> salamander. Water's fine over here, guys. Uh, you know, nothing's wrong with uh, you know taking a perennial position and getting elected just based on recognition from the from the voting block. I mean, it's not. It's not my fault that, you know, there's uh, the, the radicals vote first during the primaries and then, you know, dictate the course of, you know, American history. But, uh, you know. Uh, also, what dictates the course of history is when them semi-trucks roll in with them millions of votes for one candidate at 3 a.m. Did you see that? Yeah. The election was stolen. Everybody get together. You don't have to do that. No? <laughs> yeah, no, no, I can hear you. Okay. <clears throat> I'll get up on it. Yep. And I'll hit the mark. I'm going to take sound bites. 
okay. From the thing. I don't know if it was stolen. I know if you're if you're gonna have a perpetual dictatorship, one thing you gotta have is you gotta have uh, people have the perception that they're doing something by voting for these two parties. Who'd you vote and for? All it is, I don't vote, Who'd dude. You, Crabgrass, Crabgrass has Grass. never voted. A Crabgrass is a felon, right? You, I've never voted. Are you a sovereign? I am, citizen? but even before those days, I didn't vote. Are you a sovereign citizen? Yeah. I don't know what that is, but it seems like something I'd be into. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I will sign up. <laughs> Libertarian <laughs> group, tell you. I don't answer questions. You have pickled mm. habanero in your kitchen. You're different, a yeah. sovereign citizen. You don't yeah, dude. Explain. When you got, I, I think that there, you can tell like how somebody votes by how many pickled okra. And... <laughs> no, dude. But I just, I they all do the same thing. It's just so. Like, here's a fact. You can look this up. So they're terrified <laughs> that they won't. So here's what happens. When we say we're giving money to Ukraine, what we're doing is we're giving money to military contractors that then pay money back to the politicians, right? And so they're like, oh, people are going to be on to us. What if Trump gets elected and stops the war? Then that'll stop all the grifts. So you know what they're doing? They're using banned cluster mines. Now, these things are banned because they drop them by the thousands and 20% of them don't explode. So right now, Ukraine is the most heavily mined place that has ever existed in planet Earth. You know why they're putting the mines down, Kyle Real? Because it's going to take decades to remove them, and our military contractors are going to be the ones removing them. So even if Trump stopped it tomorrow, there's going to be 30 years of UK, Ukrainian kids getting blowed up by unexploded ordnance, and then everybody just sits around, and they're like, you know, Isn't nobody talks about it. Isn't that the broken window theory? It is. It's the Keynesian, uh, it's the ultimate Keynesian broken window. Only now we're talking about children's lives, which is something these politicians don't care anything about. Wait, I, I think like you it. might want to release this quick because I think we'll hit with QAnon. I think, I this, think it's with too, QAnon. Like, I Hold think... on, we're going to get to aliens later. And <laughs> I'm going to act like I didn't plan this whole thing. But... Q, uh, QAnon's not real. Like, I, like I've, I've met no, these QAnon don't... people. They, they, it's a bunch nonsense, of crab okay. heads. I talked to one of them. A bunch of crab heads. That was... They're trying to get to Crab Vegas. Now I don't know I don't know why they were paying eighty thousand dollars for hot dogs. I don't know why that happened. There's something suspicious there. Ch- you know, chestnut, chestnut. Why are you Joey? What, why are you what, what are you getting dressed? Joey chestnut. Hold on, keep talking. Hey, will you grab my tea off that cup? Put a marker, Kyle. Have you noticed? It's like he's trying to make. He's not. He's trying to make the worst podcast possible. This, this will be the best podcast I've been on yet. Yeah, by without far. a doubt. You think so? It's too yeah, natural. By far. Yeah, no, it's too comfortable. This is a good. Once you get comfortable, the one we were on, I got too drunk. Let it be, but our host smoked some marijuana with me before. I'll hold my marijuana all day long. And I was too drunk, drunk, and she got drunk. She she was the problem. She wasn't a good host, but she, yeah. No, Can she we just good. talk for a minute and yeah, say, yeah, that Hog Eye, Arkansas houses that were built in like 1970 are the coolest houses oh, that have ever oh, existed. Oh, fucking like low. Here's why it's good for podcasting. Natural stone. I dr- I drank so much one night. I started discovering patterns in these stones here. Dude, he went out one door, came in another. Yeah. I started cool. discovering pattern in these stones. It's got a low ceiling. It's got popcorn on. Ceiling. Let me show you a pattern right here. This guy right here. Uh, I call him the lumberjack. Let me show you. So you got this. Here's Look, here's his leg, here's his arm, here's his big beard and his head, and here's a big mug of beer right there. He's about to take a that's, swig of it. That's like some Aztec shit. His head looks like an eagle's head. I hey, like that. Hey, you want to see something else? Ultrasound rock. The lichen on this rock looks like an ultrasound of a baby. That sounds like only a doctor. Do you know how long it takes lichen to grow on rocks? No. What year was this house built? Hundreds of years. No. Why don't you go ahead and tell me this fact? I'm not really liking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um, Did you forget your fucking vape? Yes. I hate you. <laughs> <clears throat> and um, so, <laughs> lichen grows on rocks in the absence of, you know, like, soil and shit. And it takes, like, a year to grow, like, or it takes, like, a, like 50 years to grow, like, half a centimeter or some shit. A year and 50 years is a big discrepancy you guys are gonna reel in the listeners <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> With your we totally got this shit i do like crab vegas i like your drop bedroom back there yeah it's kind of where they added it onto the house and it's all like it's all like kind of amateur so like when i was redoing the sheetrock in that room like everything's rotten under the window the window didn't have any flashing just like cut a hole put some two by fours and stuck a window in it so i had to redo the whole thing classic <laughs> i got a ping pong table i got let's let's paint the listeners a word picture here 
So part of the house is rock. Man, it's like another a picture. Picture. Do what? Nothing. Go on. The uh, part of the house is rock, and, and the other part is like old paint. And then I got a ping pong <laughs> table. Ping pong table, table as well. Record player. And, panda um, with two pistols. And uh, Lock nine. I got a I got a panda with two pistols. I got a foosball table. And uh, you'll notice there's no TV because I don't like that kind of programming. Nope. We got a robot doing graffiti. I don't know, dude. I heard Gutfeld is killing it right now. Who? Whoever is on Fox right now. Gutfeld. Yeah. What Bring back that? Tucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do again? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. I don't think. Just held out. Tough lad. He didn't like. Sponsor for Zins. He didn't like. Zins. Smooth threes. He didn't like denounce Lizzo it's or Casey's was out of sixes. Denounce one. Lizzo? Did you see the thing with Lizzo and her dancers? I heard it was fake. <laughs> no. Somebody no. told some gay guy told me it was fake. No, I, I, I tend to believe them. those guys on issues. No, like, what do you mean those... it was fake? He's one the whole, of those. The whole Lizzo uh, fat dancer uh, debacle. He's a radical gay. Well, ask a normal. They're gay. They're all pretty rad. No, no, no. Hey, ask a normal Kyle, gay. they're all pretty rad. Ask a normal gay. About Lizzo? Yeah. <laughs> hey, guy. You just got done fishing. You hear about this Lizzo shit? Fuck you talk about. Normal I, don't th- I don't think that would work. It would. Okay. Who's the normal guy, Kyle? No, because... I'm going to put a marker here. <laughs> 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 because... Uh, have you ever seen the videos online where like just like regular gays that like dick break down like extremist gays that are uh, no I haven't that sounds no? fascinating wow you your algorithm is not right you need to listen to more Anthony Rich. what's his name Richardson Oliver Anderson Oliver Anderson that's not his name Anthony it's Richardson it's Oliver, it's it's Oliver the Indianapolis Colts Indianapolis Colts Weston no, that was shit. his name Colt Weston, dude. Colt McCoy. Well, um, that's that's a country name, yeah. Welcome to SEC Texas. One more year, bitch. Mm-hmm. That's right. So, um, fudge rounds. <laughs> <laughs> the obese people. I can't believe y'all sitting here talking about Lizzo with obese people eating fudge rounds for facing my America. <laughs> How are you talking about something different, dude? I'm going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it, bitch. Do you, do you feel like... Do you feel like maybe somebody should have an uh, agenda for this podcast? Well, eventually we're going to uh, read off the ideas that we have. That was something Ooh, like, that's good. That was Me and Conrad got some ideas. Show ideas, Kyle. Real. I got some ideas. But first, I was going to like... what, what uh, The government just... Uh, did that thing about illegal aliens? Oh yeah, said it's real. Yeah, and everyone was like, "They said illegal aliens oh, are real. aliens or illegal aliens. Which one are we talking about? Um, aliens. I, there's a bit of bitter news about both, but yeah, something about how we can't build a wall around space. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's tough, you know. <laughs> so that, that'd be a big wall, you know. It would be, you know, around the whole whole planet, dude. Greta Thornburg's been talking about it. About putting a wall around the planet? Yeah, the ozone, folks. Oh, that wall. (laughs) 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 You walked right into it. (laughs) Fudge (laughs) round. Fudge round. (laughs) Greta Thornburg. Where is she now? What has she been? Greta? Um, She's probably hanging out with Lana Del Rey and other people. Is that where she's from? Famous so complainer. You know she's in her twenties. Denmark. Yeah. I we've thought been she was we've in been high seeing her so long that Since she was just uh, sixteen. Yeah. Sixty. I think she was like twelve when we first saw her. I thought she was sixteen or seventeen. No, she's like twenty-two. No, when she first came on the scene. Yeah, when 14. she first hit. Fourteen. I don't think it was that long yeah. ago, really. I'd say in terms of child stars. Not that hot. You know? No, she had a <laughs> terrible like, yeah. career. Like, right. She's a one Ryan Gosling? Star. Killing it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. It's like, right. Greta was never on Biggie's Mouse Club. No. High ability right. on defense. Are you really that but... big? What do you got in that cup? You just keep coming with cups of liquids. Tea. That'll kick off in a minute. I got some tea. Sweet. Uh, green. I'm going to spill some tea for y'all. Ooh. Uh, Uh-oh. 
I bought a car today, <gasps> and I made the guy an offer, and um, he didn't. They didn't like the offer, and so I left with my car hauler, and I got hours down the road, and he texted me. He's like, "Okay, I, that's that's fine." He could have took you for more. I he could have for more. He could have got it right. Kyle Rills selling cars at the moment. Don't say where. For his life. Don't say where. For the uh, last time I did a show with Conrad Lindsmeyer, I got HR called on me. That's no shit. <laughs> did you really? That's a true story. That's a true you got story. HR called I got on HR you? called on me, yeah. How did they possibly hear it? I'm, I'm not, I don't think it's a worth revisiting. <laughs> I'm going to revisit it. For the, the 11, three people who listen to this podcast, one of them was in your HR. Because my boys at work will listen to it. Boys, boys, boys. They're going to listen to it. Snort pills. Yeah, no. So, Conrad Lindsmeyer put on a show at a barbecue place that will remain unnamed, like my workplace. And there happened to be about eight people there. And then my boys showed up, and there's about 20 people there. So it was a good little show. Hey, Outdoor it, venue. You got 12 boys? I got, I got so many boys, dude. He's fertile as fuck. <laughs> like work buddies? Oh, yeah. Come to see you do stand-up? Fuck yeah. Have they ever seen you do stand-up no, before? No, that was the first time. Okay, yeah. I'm a popular guy. They'll show up one time Ask if they've been back. They no, have, they no, haven't been I haven't back. told them. I haven't told them I yet. I saw a turd of an act, and they were like, that's enough. And Jesus Christ. It was funny. That wasn't my thing. Did he do good? Well, hold on. No, I remember that the he only reason... He did really good the other sh- night, I heard. Wait, yeah. The <laughs> only ahead. reason they showed up to the fucking gig to begin with is because their plan A got canceled. <laughs> their plan A got canceled. They're trying right. to go like Top Golf and it got like No, full. no, no. They were going to go to a baseball game. Uh, and the dealership that I worked for, was, we had a sweet baseball game that got canceled. So they're like, where's the show at? They pulled up. So I got up there and I worked with this one young cat that's from Harrison, Arkansas. So the first thing I did was fuck with that guy. So let it be known... Nothing but whites, aside from my boy Joe Means. Oh, shout out, Joe Means. Joe Means. Joe Means was in the crowd. Joe Means is a black comedian in Northwest Arkansas originally. For Memphis. context, yes. Yeah, black man. Yeah. I think you're, right now, I think you're stoned and everybody knows it. Everybody I think knows they can it. hear it. They can hear it. This is the way I live on you know TV. They, Keep can't going. Hear, they can't hear how I'm sitting in this chair right now. Keep going, Kyle. Authentic. Joe Means and all. This audio. is authentic. Like, what's his name? Uh, Oliver Anthony. Oliver, Oliver Anthony. Calling Fudge Round. Calling Fudge, Fudge Round Anderson. Anyway, so I got on stage and I fucked with this old case from Harrison, Arkansas. I missed the Fudge Round line. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing, you're doing go crowd back. work. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm all right. doing crowd work right off the bat. Kyle um, Reels really, he's he's noted for his crowd work. <laughs> I don't know. People may not know that. Know. Kyle is also renowned for having a plan. <laughs> Shows up to an audio podcast wearing uh, flip flops. That seemed to be made out of, what, roadkill? What is that? God damn it, folks. All right. Let it be known I'd never wear these in public. I've got to take a picture of these, dude. Anyway, those, yeah, are no, those are I mean, These are Jesus. Oh, those bad. look funky. Those look, those like, look like you. Me and my dad used to hunt possums. and need to get drunk and we go hunt possums. These are possum sandals. It looks like you ran over a festival. I've had a, I've had a size 12 foot since I was can, like... Can you tell the Joe Main story? God damn it. <laughs> So, there was a black guy. There's a black guy, there's a white guy. The white guy's from a racist town, right? I have to speed it up due to fucking Kenny no time over here. Anywho, I fuck with... <laughs> oh. We won't get into our beef that goes way back. <gasps> but don't rush me. I got, I got beef don't with Kyle me. Real. Don't <laughs> rush me. So, you're telling the story, and... And I fucked with this guy from being from Harrison. I was like, what's it like from being from Harrison? They said, it's a real holy place. They burn a lot of crosses. So, Joe Means gets on stage, and being the great comedian that Joe Means is, he plays off what I had already did, and he fucks with this old cat again, and he tells him, uh, give it up for supremacy, blank, blank. I'm not going to say the name that I work at. Okay. Because I'll get fired. Oh. Anywho. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got. I get where you're going. You get, anywho, I get yeah, to work. Yeah. My fucking GM is on vacation, and I get a call. He doesn't mean General Motors, ladies no. and gentlemen. <laughs> no. He means General Manager. <laughs> Yo, keep going. Yeah. So Proceed. Thank you, yes. My, my General Manager. Con- have you noticed Conrad only laughs at his own jokes? No. Watch he, him. He, he laughs at a lot Watch of Watch him. Keep going, Kyle. I like Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> he does. You know, he'll whisper in my ear before I get on stage. I love it. He'll go, you suck. Nobody likes you. I do that to, all, I do that to everybody I like. That's so, so you, not so your GM comes to get you. No, he doesn't You're... come get me. He calls me. He's, on, he's sitting on a beach in Destin, Florida, and he has to call me. He goes, hey, bud, uh, did you do the comedy show over the weekend? I was like, yeah. He's like, 
how to go, yeah. I was like, it's a good show. He's like, the guys from work came. I was like, yeah. He's like, uh, you didn't happen to say a bunch of racist shit while you were on the stage, <laughs> did you? And I was like, not a fucking word of it. And he said, you didn't say that we're supremacy blank blank. I said, no, that was Joe Means. <laughs> He's the tire guy. <laughs> He's, a- <laughs> He's a tire guy, and he had every right to say what he said. It was a great joke. I wish I would have had said that joke. It was a fucking fantastic joke. And he was like, yeah, apparently there was somebody in the crowd that night that knew somebody from our central office and oh, then gosh. called them. Yeah, no. I can narrow it down. <laughs> I've never. I can narrow it down to one table. Yeah. I know who you There's are. There's only two tables. <laughs> I, usually, I usually know the four people who come to see me. So I, uh, I don't know them. I, I know the people who came to see me. Fudge rounds. I wrote a new song. Do it. Okay. You want to hear, hear some bars? Let's, yeah. let's hear some. Let's hear some okay, bars. People probably think I'm tooting. That's the vinyl couch. <laughs> here we go. You're gonna like this. Beans, beans, a musical fruit. The more you eat them, the more that you toot. The more you toot. You feel so eat beans with every meal When I was little and I heard that advice I thought that it was a good way to live my life <laughs> Alright, that's enough bars, alright That's a little taste so, hold on, hold on. so tonight I got a secret I'd like to reveal <laughs> For 40 years I've eaten beans with every meal Repainting my house cause the gas is corrosive No open flames cause the gas is explosive If I'm driving and I got a potty I bomb the Casey's bathroom like Nagasaki Winning I win in Mario Kart It's No, hold on, never mind, never mind. I can't right, get into right, it right. I don't want to let any more of it out It's a farting uh, song, Kyle Yes, all of, all of farting Anthony. song Take note Yes, planets <laughs> formed. Oh, here's a good bar that Kenny I didn't get to. Here's Oliver, a good bar I didn't get to. You're right. No, get me. Oliver Dandison. Here we go. I move my butt cheeks fast like Tina Turner and my booty hole blast like an afterburner. Who would have thought that them little old beans would light my nozzle up like an F-14? <laughs> See, it's an afterburner. Yeah. This is from the booty hole. I would have took you for 52 grand today. <laughs> you think you would have? <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have. Oh. Tell you I would have let you leave. We would have been talking for hours. <laughs> 50, if you buy if 52 grand is a lot of money because you got a lot of money you got to earn 82 grand to take on 52 grand because all the fudge rounds you got to buy for the obese i don't know if you ever did the math on that cash deal folks i don't want your cash i want you to finance let that be known well it's because y'all are just finance companies yeah, dude that's right who finance. buys a new car uh, too many fucking people i hate the paperwork on them buy a used one from so me. so who buys a used car though Everybody. I did. John Hunter needs to get rid of his shit truck. I'll yeah, tell you that right now. That won't happen. So does Kenny. They both got a bad truck. Not so that thing breaks down, which could be now. I could won't speak on my there. brand, but fuck Ford. All right, we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> That's a so, piece of shit. Talking about <laughs> <laughs> Mine's doing fine. No, yeah, Subaru. Subaru. I trust any fucking Japanese name. Yeah. Toyota. Dude, Subarus ain't good. No, they're not bad. Well, they don't they don't really last. Like my my buddy uh, had a Forester. My buddy had a Forester that spun a bearing. Spun a main what bearing. What kind of buddies do you have? I, this is a buddy with not a Subaru. Not the kinds that hang out with Fudge Round folk. He had he had a Subaru. <laughs> what kind of people are you hanging out with? Spun a main bearing at seventy five thousand miles. This is a modern car. Yeah. So I went to get a, a. I was gonna get a short block helping fix it. Short blocks are a fortune. I'm like, why is that? And they're like, because all of them spin bearing. This car is like known to not even last 100,000 miles. These Subarus ain't that reliable. You don't want a Porsche. They're, they're, the, the Subaru market is filled with affluent people who just only keep a car for two years. They're like, it's so reliable for that two years. Market average is five years. Market average is five years. Subaru's like, for Subaru's got to be two. Yeah, two or three. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What a power move you just tried to pull on me. <laughs> well, I'm not going to let it affect me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Not a chance, brother. All right, so we are talking about aliens earlier. Yeah. And they're here. I've heard that they're eating beans in the 
Bermuda Triangle. That there's an underground base or underwater base that makes a bunch of these shits and poops them out. Uh, I think that's where um, Larry went. Dude, that's from a that's from a book. I think there was a book uh, by uh, Theodore Sturgeon where aliens landed a pod that went underwater and then started manufacturing more aliens. It's literally from a sci-fi book. All right, well, wow, that's one you, theory. Aren't you red? Yeah, dude. It's called uh, the name of that book is. Um, oh gosh, dang it! Gullivers I can't think travels? of it. But there's uh, there's Close. two competing races of aliens or species of aliens. Um, that are taking over the planet, and that's one of the ways that they do it. They're taking over the universe, and that's one of the ways they do it. They um, they go underwater, and then they have this base that makes more of them. Just like in Appalachia country, there's uh, like a trailer with one like obese person in it. A and, brood sack, yes. That trailer <laughs> makes more and more obese people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a brood, yeah. They call it fudge round economy. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. right. It's their currency. The fudge coin. So what happened with aliens? Oh, I don't know. I guess they found a couple of them. Some guy got a headache. Like He walked into one that was like the size of a car. And then he got in there and it was like the size of a football field. What the fuck are you doing back there? <laughs> you gotta dig all the china through that son of a bitch? <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's getting nervous, dude. No, I got kids. Sean, were you abducted? Yeah, I think so. (laughs) He's getting awfully nervous over here with the alien talk. Who's to say? What does it feel like? For me? Yeah. Being an alien. Being abducted. Being abducted. Yeah. You know, I guess it depends if they probe you, right? You know, if you're there for the tour, I mean, they hit you with that roofie gun from MIB. You know, that'd be one thing, but like. That sounds like an ideal night. It does. It'd be pretty fun, huh? A little bit the of drugs night of your and life, like, and you just wake up. You wake up, you're like, what? I'm in a cornfield, dude. You're yeah. you're in a cornfield, big old swastika pressed into the field. <laughs> How long has this podcast been going? It feels like an eternity. <laughs> All right, so let's read these ideas, huh? This, this is good. Are we ready for the ideas? I feel like we should have led with it. Okay, it's a little this bit. This is a good fucking we pod. Let's put a marker on there. I'm telling you, this is a good this fucking is a, pod. This is a, it's a, this is a pretty good idea. So Conrad and I, Conrad, I don't know if I got to 50, dude. I, 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 I may have. 50 so, ideas? So here's the deal. Here, Let me set it up for you and for the listeners worldwide. worldwide. We were talking about show ideas, and I was like, there's no like unique shows. Like We got this comedy club that we got a lot of, of, of good... Um, you know, good uh, vibes talent. with. And, oh, and, right. yeah. and the guy was asking me, and he's like, what are some other show ideas? And I was like, you know, we've never really like explored show ideas. So I went into artificial intelligence, and I typed in show ideas, but it's all the ones that I'd already heard of. So me and Conrad have a challenge to Shark Tank Show ideas. This should. Be, can you make this part start the podcast? Because the rest of it, to be honest, we Parker. all know it's not the greatest. No, Excuse that, me. This, what are you talking this about? Has been this has been a fun hang, pod. dude. Yeah, is no. this how podcasts go? Yeah. I, this is the first one I've ever done. No, this is this is. Yeah, no. People aren't here to learn. They're, people, no, they're here right. to ignore that the fact that they're at work or driving or we're at work. Yeah. 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 This isn't like where do. do if 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 I had an itinerary for a comedy slash general podcast, it'd be like dinosaur facts or some shit. You know, like our our boy we talking about. What's his name? Shout him out one more time. I keep forgetting. Larry Wigglesworth. No. Oh. Oliver Anthony. Oliver Anthony. This oh, is yeah. authentic. This is just fucking. This is chatter. People like chatter. They don't like fucking fake. Like we're gonna do this, 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 and this, folks. No. Hey. Dining, this is produced. dining out really hurts my feelings because I fart up the restaurant from floor to ceiling. <laughs> and I didn't crop dust the whole bar the other day. That felt pretty satisfying. You did? I did. Yeah. Did what? What was? What bar was it? Uh, Waystone, formerly Mojo's. I don't even know. Are what they that gonna do comedy over there? Probably not, dude. No. There is nothing out, better. That'd be a tough room. If is it's it? a restaurant, yeah. there's nothing better than walking to a restaurant and ambushing poor. People trying to eat dinner pow, with pow, crappy pow. jokes. I like it. With oh, awful it's, it's they don't awesome. like yeah. it. It's terrible. I like it. That's only the the best is actually when you go to do comedy at Tin Roof 
and there's a crowd there, and they're verbally saying, when does karaoke start? Because karaoke <laughs> starts at 9. Karaoke and you, is king, yes. And you're doing comedy at 8. And you, so Kyle Real, so like Kyle Real is like a, like a montage of Eminem, like writing in the book. You know, he's like really working on these jokes. He's like practicing in the mirror, doing everything. Then he gets there and they're like, you know what's better than that? Some freaking fudge round singing uh, Trisha Yearwood song. That's what they want. They all want karaoke. They don't want comedy. I would have fucked Henry Fives. <laughs> yeah, right. I Nobody fucked, did. I would have fucked Henry Nobody did. I bombed, I dude. I ate it bad. I do ate or it. do rag? I, it was Were not they good. Do rag people? Do what? That... Were they do rag people? No, I don't think anybody really did good. I'm, I'm like, there's people who like if, like, there's people who like if any laughter happens, they're, they're like in their mind they're like, I did good. It's like a delusion thing, you know. But like, I don't claim to do good unless I do good. And that show, I definitely did not do good. Like people want to carry over. Was that the sorority show? No. No. There's like just six tables of civilians there that all wanted karaoke really, really bad. And Parker. You, you, we were getting in between them and karaoke. What happened? Nothing. I started a fight. I'm going to fuck John Hunter up in ping pong the, after this He's going to fuck John Hunter. All right, here we got um, 50 Okay, hold on, hold on. So, so anyway, the guy was like, come up pissed. with some ideas for some shows. Yeah. So I don't want to start it until Kyle's here. No, no. What are you doing? No, no, he can hear you. He can hear you. Hey, will you grab me one of them? One of the beers? Yeah. Yeah, I got to take a bit. So anyway, let me get into my phone and get to my idea sheet. So what we did, John Hunter, um, is we... Our challenge was each one of us is going to write 50 show ideas. Like me and Conrad are each going to write 50 ideas... For a show to do in a room that will ha have like their, and they have to be practical ideas. Like they can't be American gladiators because we don't got no gladiators, you know? Well, we could get Nerf guns. We, but, okay. I don't know. Anyway. Right. So, what we'll do is what, what I thought would be fun is like Conrad will read one and then we'll real rapid fire, like give some input to it, and then I'll read one and we'll go and we'll just go back and back, back and forth like it's a roast battle, but instead it's a freaking battle of ideas, dude. Who's leading this thing off? So, I can kick it off here. Open mic bingo cards. Anytime a topic comes up, uh, like a real general square would be news. Or like the free square could be trauma. Or, you know, uh, various topics and then uh, somehow uh, somebody gets something at the end of it. I didn't, I just wrote the idea. and I, and I That's not a bad it. idea because everybody does the same premises and open mic They set. totally Did you hear do, that yeah. Real? What's uh -uh. the deal with... All right, so it's bingo cards that have different like general premises, and you go to an open mic and you get to play bingo with this stupid. <laughs> yeah, you know? that's a great premise. Yeah, suicide. No, like you know, like uh, what you know, rape joke, racist, uh, alcoholic dad. Game right. Uh, or uh, that's not a bad idea. My vagina. Uh, maybe yeah. Pussy or juice. Dick. Okay, joke, here fart. we go. Oh my God. That's a All right. So the next one, we got a lot of these to go through. So let's just do. Yeah, boom, I'm, boom, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a plus sign on that one. Yeah. Like here, that. here's here's my first one. Mario Kart Invitational. We set up a huge projector screen, and we have me and Joe Means doing play-by-play, -play, <laughs> and we let people play Mario Kart Deluxe 8 on the big projector screen, and we do like a tournament to see who the best Mario Kart player is, okay. and they get a trophy. So that actually mirrors my idea number three, which is a sports breakdown for non-sports. But hold on, hold on. No, this is a different idea. Let's take them, let's take okay, them one right, by right, one. Right. Let's take them one by one. Right, just do right, right. it. All right. What my uh, point just is on I'm, that, just on that, I'm out. Next idea. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck you, bro. Are the sharks on this? The Mario yeah, the sharks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Joe means right, yourself. The Mario Kart idea. There's a ton of people that play Mario Kart. They may not do karaoke. They may not do anything. But this is a chance for them to get out and flex how good they are at Mario Kart. That is true. Fifteen dollars. And cover. Mario Kart's fun as hell, dude. Fifteen dollar cover. I need three percent or I'm out. Does anybody like that idea? I don't know if he's marked a good idea. idea. Next one, Tom Ray. <laughs> you got the idea of what we're doing. You guys freaking suck as sharks. <laughs> right. I like These it. sharks suck. <laughs> a bunch of fudge it, round eating losers. Going, yeah. Go ahead, Conrad. Uh, number two, uh, blatant ripoff, the Kill Tony interview. And that's a great challenge. Open mic plus, uh, you know. Panel. 
Wow. It's kind of what we did at um Format. at the, at, at, uh, at place in Springdale. Yeah, 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 yeah no. Shout out Big Sexy. That guy's right, a scumbag. Uh, Don't big... mark that. That guy sucks. Well, keep anyway. it rolling. He was always nice to me. Fuck him. Okay, <laughs> this one's gonna be this one's gonna be kind of controversial. You're Kyle right. burning bridges real. <laughs> so it's gonna be <laughs> the bridges have been burnt, bitch. I, I reported him. <laughs> so to this the IRS. is like the state. <laughs> oh shit. So yeah. this is kind of a this is kind of a. It's kind of a, a little bit of a ripoff on kind of UFC kind of thing. The UFC, like where they have the coaches. So this is called Team Roast. We get a room full of people. I'm a coach. Kyle Rill's a coach. We split the team into two. They each have a team captain. I interview their team captain for five minutes, right? Then Kyle interviews my team captain for five minutes. Then we have 30 minutes to write as many roast jokes about the other team's team captain. And then at the end of the night, it's literally a roast battle between the two team captains. I like that with the modification that I just say that you, me and you are team captains, right? We're going to do this roast show. Right. I'm going to draft three comedians. You're going to draft three comedians. And we're just going to go fucking head to head. But we, the, the, here's the, okay, so I want it to be civilians. Because like civilians. they don't, yeah, because they don't have an opportunity to participate in this stuff. Like letting our three guys do to. more roast jokes you're like just, they get to just, write every day. You're aching for fucking crowd work. Just do it. Well, no, no, no. Here, here's the thing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this. Every single comedy show we got going around here is just us dumbasses and our family and girlfriends and buddies. We've got to figure out a way to reach an audience of human beings that aren't literally in it as some sort of ego or therapy. We've got to figure out how to get strangers <laughs> to come into a room for an event. So you've got to let them participate somehow. Why is karaoke so good? Uh, because they get to participate. But not everybody wants to do karaoke. Some people wants, might want to get their toes wet in comedy. Everybody wants to be a rock star, bitch. Next. Not everybody Go wants ahead, to be Conrad. a comedian. Go ahead. You, you, rock stars want to be comedians. Um, <laughs> comedians <laughs> want to be rock stars. You, you do both. Um... <laughs> I can do both. Uh, sports breakdown uh, for non-sports. So, like, me and Kenny, Kyle, and the like, uh, you know, we all get together and we. Uh, this is be like a throw two segment. Like, suppose our show has a projector. You know, we could just cover a horse race, it's make sports, up names uh, for them. Horses are sports. Like a mini horse race. It's a, it would be like the last scene of Best in Show. Did I say mini horse race? Mini horse race. It'd be like Best in Show. The guy's like talking about the dogs. He's like, so which one would be a fullback and which one would be a... Right. right. Or like the Joplin Cobb competition. and being like, up oh, the cloud on the left was longer, but the cloud on the right was thicker. Would you rather be long or thick, Mr. Kyle? What do you think? Back to you. All right. Um, okay, okay. I'm going to put a minus next to that one. The next one I got. I'm not... All of these are good. Y'all are just stupid, so I'm not even marking mine. Um, next one up, it's called Team Tinder. We generate a Tinder profile and then pay to boost it, and it's all up on the screen. We port the cell phone to the projector, and then we try to uh, have fictitious relationships. <laughs> that sounds like a show that MTV runs called Catfish. <laughs> In next. all humility, it is very, it is very similar. <laughs> next, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm trying to get people to fall in love with us and then heartbreak them. John Hunter, I, I did learn the lesson of humility. When you're doing 50 of these, everyone's not a Mona Lisa. Back to you, Conrad. Uh, get the comedians criminally drunk. Idea of five slash stoned. That was lazy of me. I, I, that's me right now. That's okay, every right. single you, comedy podcast, show ever. Right. So we'll do, not criminally. Like, I haven't seen anybody piss their pants on stage. <laughs> would be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that appeal to an audience? Uh, <laughs> you never seen Billy do you, Madison? Do, do, the Scratch audiences balance. don't like us when we're on our A game. Why would they possibly That's like why us? That's why I stay on my C People game. People like crashes, Kenny. You know? I would scratch that one. Okay, this one, this next one's good. You ready? Yeah. It's a competition. I like to call Cringe Night. Big crowd of people. It's like an open mic comedy, but everybody gets to tell their cringiest story, and then there's a prize for hardest cringe. That sounds like just most Is that like mic. biggest bust? <laughs> Do what? Is that like biggest bust? Like whoever gets the least amount of laughs? Well, I think it would just, at the end, we'd say, we'd put up the the names and like the general, like, who has, you know, Becky in the, you know, lost the shopping cart or whatever. People cheer. <laughs> 
you know. Who's eating the most fudge? The rice? biggest cringe. I like. There's something about when somebody Man. tells like a cringe. Like that's why I love open. Like when somebody's up there just eating it, doing open mic, and it's like physically hurting them. I just freaking love it, dude. The energy when they're. See, you haven't been to enough open mics recently because <laughs> you're a lot of that. Dude. Dude. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of. Uh, it's probably too much. It's a little rich. I'm, a, I'm a it's big like, fan of that. a lot of guys. <laughs> four, four, are there good? Are there good ones? <laughs> <laughs> you mean you're a fan of the cringe I, or the yeah. jokes? Oh, um, there's a lot of jokes going on. Do you remember the guy who used to get up there and do like love making walkthroughs? He's a creepy old guy. Yeah, and, and I said that and I said that his kink was he liked embarrassing himself yeah. by telling it's like it wasn't even comedy, he was just doing a kink and nobody that knew. He was just up there telling porn. Yeah, they thought he was a crappy I don't comic. I missed this one. No, I think he did fuck. <laughs> and he would just get up there and tell us his weekly story of who he had fucked. Oh, that's yeah. disgusting. It was great. That was the worst. <laughs> God. I knew so I the next I idea I have written down is called Whose Line Is It Anyway? Where we just uh, rip off games from Whose Line Is It Anyway? I like and that. we make comedians do improv. Cause I that's hate, an improv show. I hate that. I love there that. Is also, there's all, they also do like improv on Saturdays there. We could extend it all of them. See, but like, I don't... I, I, Oh, that's a hard all of branch it hurts. out there. Yeah, dude, I don't know. <laughs> because the shit that they're going to say compared to the shit that I might say while improving something. Yeah, that might <laughs> it's be. It's a different show. That's true, yeah. That's not bad, though. I mean, that's kind of it's a... Just do it. And that might sell because people know what an improv show is. So my next one's kind of an improv show. It's called Get Her or Him Back. Okay? <laughs> so what we do is we have a room full of people. We... Pick somebody who has been broken up with somebody for greater than a year, and then we project a cell phone up, and we all try to text them to rekindle the relationship. That sounds very destructive, and I'd love to see it. <laughs> yeah. I love that. But you see, oh. And we just do one phone after another until somebody's like, you know, you haven't talked to me for a while. And then as soon as they respond, we poll the room for the best response to it. So we're doing like a crowd. It's, it's, a, it's like a crowdsourced response to try to win somebody back and then the crescendo of the night is if we win them back it's like haha we're projecting this on the screen it's a whole room full of people <laughs> see you're trying to get yeah started. no like that would i mean we don't want we don't any... tell them to kill themselves we right say, <laughs> right we okay so like that's what i was getting to actually <laughs> it might be destructive Right, <laughs> and and the rule is you have to text somebody who you ended it with them. See, you're not trying to win. You're trying to like you're giving them another chance. You're too authentic. Okay, on to Conrad. <laughs> uh, idea number seven. Uh, this one just says greasy watermelon relay. All right, now this would be like a segment, like a throw to, where we get the likes of Kyle Rill and Blake Fortner, <laughs> and, we, and we put a bunch of like uh, we put a bunch of Crisco on a watermelon, and then we make you have a tug of war over it. I'd possibly in a body of water. Is this is like a it's sex not, thing. It's not, it's it? not pornographic explicitly, but there's tugging on a watermelon. Yes, I'm just a greasy say right watermelon. Now, there's not one comedian I could think of that would win that fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing my my name in the gauntlet. If you're a comedian, then the area. Ooh, a tournament. You know, what, you, yeah. know what, Kyle, real, you know what? You know what? We go to the farmers market. We pick out the melons. You think you hey. take a watermelon and pull a Crisco for me? Fucking. Guess you know why Kyle? <laughs> you know why Kyle real is gonna win? Huh? Because he's got them long fingernails like Danielle Brigoli, and he'll dig them into that rhyme. That's dude. right, brother. He's got, have you, John Hunter, have you seen his fingernails? Uh-uh. Dude, they're pretty radical. I've seen them. I've noticed them a few times. Ferengi. He had some... Talent. I'm like saving he had, some, he had some cash me outside some energy some with the nails. Okay. So I'm going to put I'm gonna put a plus sign next yeah, to that one. That that's, the, that's not a show. Any challenge. The, the idea is to have a show that people want to watch. You're going to have a, How long is this show going to watch where two guys try to grab a watermelon? It's not going to last It's a segment. Long. That's like maybe a minute. I'm, a, right I'm in an alternate dimension here. I will take a fucking watermelon. No, no, no. Because like, John Kenny, Hunter, I got a phone Kenny, full of gold, and I'm just in a Kenny, room of children. Kenny, well, I mean, yeah. Kenny, I will uh, take a watermelon from you sub 10 seconds. Good could, show's <laughs> over. Thanks for coming out, ladies and gentlemen. No, we could do a tournament. Like you know, like we have I'll a projector. You, we have a projector. We set up the tournament. There's okay. a grease watermelon tug of war bracket. You know, myself and Blake and here's <laughs> me against the world. I'll be a stand up comedian for that night. Is it my turn? I'll steal a watermelon from you so fucking fast. Nice chance. That'd be good. Yeah, you could be so a ringer. So stupid. Okay, you ready? <laughs> here's a good idea. <laughs> hey, Kyle, real heads up. Here's what a good idea sounds yeah, like. We'll see. Adult Pinewood Derby. We have a Pinewood Derby contest, but it's for adults, and we Next. have the details on the cars. Next. You don't like that? Next. 
Why do you not like that? Because every pun with what? Derby is already for adults. Everyone's dad is already <laughs> doing true, it. That's true, yeah. God, that is kind of true. Yeah. All you would get is the yeah. pine wood derby. See, that's what a good... You know what? You, you've you listed a great opportunity for me to improve. That's how you do it, Kyle Rowe. That's why I bring my hetero life mate with me everywhere. He's the brains, I'm the brown. It's, it's one of these days y'all going to realize you're gay. <laughs> not today. Not today. <laughs> sometime. Okay. Go ahead, Conrad. Um... Shadow Puppet Pictionary. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next. The only thing is, there's like two Shadow Puppets. Yeah, there. I like the idea, Dog but there's not enough diversity bird. of the puppets. And rock, yeah. and paper, and scissors. Debatable on two of those. Paper? Do you think people could legitimately guess that? Hey, Kyle Real, here's the Shadow Puppet I'd I make know. for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You could guide him anyway and be like, Matt, um, Matt, that's not Matt. a bad idea. How about this? How about this, Conrad? Ray? Dumb chess. So we advertise that we're going to have a competitive chess game, but me and Conrad get to make every other move. I think all you do is make the chess players mad. Oh, yeah. I think it'd be funny, but a lot of people don't understand the game of chess. I like There's that. no bad ideas. There's just, you know. Oh, no, I, li- I like that a lot. I'm putting a detrimental to both sides. Nobody kills themselves at the end of this. Putting a mark by that one. Probably. Okay, go ahead, Conrad. What's your next uh, one? DUI driving simulator. <laughs> racing. I like that. Yeah, we get we get two comedians hammered and then we race them. Just do Mario Kart. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. Mario Kart. On the, or on we could just get drunk goggles if it's a simulator. We could do that too. Yeah. Fast yeah. and Furious. We could do sober style. drunk goggles versus like I got a police breathalyzer. We could. <laughs> no, I want everybody to be drunk. I want an even playing field. <laughs> it's not even. Okay, this I'm is a really good drunk driver. This next one, I think, I, is a little bit selfish for me because I do musical comedy, which is the worst genre of comedy. This one's called parody karaoke. They we give them a karaoke song and they have thirty minutes to write the best parody of it, and then we perform it. What do we do for the thirty minutes when they're? They're all having ideas and writing songs. Oh, okay. We break up into teams. Right, but like, it's a live show? We play music. Okay. No, we play music and they okay. drink and... It was pre-drawn. Consume whatever. Yeah, it's a pre-drawn song. Yeah, and have, up like, one team song. gets one song and one team gets another. So we don't, they don't have to do the same song. It's just whatever the... Okay, back to you, Conrad. I think I'd fuck you up. Go again. You might. I'm not good at parodies. I do original, you know, I do little parodies like the... Like the How big will my girlfriend you, you, grow? Wrote, you wrote a song about fucking my mom. That's a parody. So that was an actual, <laughs> that was a, that was a little bit Keep of going, uh, Conrad. That was, that was a little bit of history uh, the, right the, there. The clay pot race. Two what? imbeciles race to make a bowl. Oh, oh, I like that. Yeah, it's just like talentless understand. pottery. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You got yes. a lump of clay exactly. with yes. no instruction. Yes, go. Make that may bowl. be good. That may be good. They I like that. To operate the turntable. Just yeah. Just clay everywhere. It just goes in one. Yeah, no, it'd be a huge mess. We got like yeah, a Gallagher it's sheet. A, it's a speed pedal. You got to know how fast to turn it. That's wow. Okay. You, know, you never watched that Patrick Swayze movie? Here's one. This one takes a little bit of setting up. You ready? <laughs> yeah. This is called telemetry scavenger hunt. We set up a scavenger hunt all around Fable, and we have a projector, and we have the person wear a GoPro, and we feed it back to the projector, and we just watch them do a real-time scavenger hunt around Fable. They'd have to be doing some heinous shit. <laughs> well, that's what we could set it up. Just whatever. It's just the most terrible. Like, I need you to shit on the piano bar's doorstep. No, I mean, we can't. <laughs> yeah, it'd have no. to be like limits. You get your neck no, 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 no limits. It'd be cool if they if if our bot got arrested. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would be the funniest. Go to IGA <laughs> and buy up every jail. fudge <laughs> round. <laughs> wait, wait, can we can we stage that though? Can we make it so that like we could make it fake? Can we like impersonate a police officer? That's I approach. Not a crime. We'll. Not only if you get caught. Yeah, <laughs> dude. No, I want them to really get arrested. The police if they have actually died. get arrested. You owe us fifty more dollars. Okay, Conrad, go. Where, where are we at time wise? We have time for a few more. We may have to split this into two episodes because I got like forty more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're only at ten. We're only at ten. How, how much? How much duration? Uh, Kyle, what's what's the time rate on the front there? Uh, one hour and four 
minutes, one hour and five minutes. All right. Well, that was that was like we 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 started recording like a good ten fifteen minutes early, so I got a bunch of like shit to sort through. Okay. How about this one? You ready? Oh, it's your turn, Conrad. Go ahead. No, I said clay pot race. And then he said. But then I said scavenger hunt. hunt. Oh yeah. Um. Eat the spiciest chicken wing. Get extra time. Eat a fucking jar of Kenny's fucking habaneros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat, pickles in there. Eat yeah, I pickled some ha- I pickled pickle some habaneros, and uh, Kyle Kyle rolled in here like uh, freaking Wooderson walking into the <laughs> walking into the what was the name of the place in Days of Confused? <laughs> what was the name of the place in Days of Confused <laughs> where they play foosball and everything? Yeah, yeah, no, the pool hall. About. What was the name of it? Somebody Google that real quick. John Hunter, can you can you Google that? What it, anyway. Kyle Real walked in here, like pelvis forward, like Wooderson walking in, like he's being, and I had just canned, I pickled a bunch of habaneros out of my garden, and then I was making a sandwich and putting some little ones on it, and then Kyle was like, I'll eat one of them, and he grabbed it and ate it, and dude, it was so hot in his little mouth, he was like, do you got any milk? <laughs> and he had to drink some milk. And then Conrad came in with some pizza. Who we were like, hey, you want to put some pickled habaneros on that pizza? And Conrad ate like a whole ton of them. It didn't seem to phase him. No, I'm phasing him. Just to call back, it's called the Emporium. The Emporium. Yeah, like when Wooderson walked in. The, can you just edit it and make it where I said it right the first time? Marker. No. Marker. <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> All right. Go. go. I'm gonna go, leave that in. <laughs> go, go ahead, Conrad. What's your idea? Uh, comedians call their moms. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, but man, there's you're rolling the dice. Yeah. Right. Like I one in five that. might be good, but what are you gonna do when they call and they're like, "Hey, listen, I'm having some problems with the TD Ameritrade account. Um, I called the people and they said my password had to have a character, but I'm not sure what a character is because I used a pound sign. That's not good." No, that's great. Uh, I Actually, mean, I wouldn't ask fantastic. you to call your mom. Uh, there's a couple of people. I freaking call yeah. Kyle Reel's mom all the time. Exactly. Maybe that'd be part there of the show. Go. Yeah, that'd be a good. That'd be a good call. Into our past. I'd be like Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, girl, what's going on? She'd be like, ooh, crabgrass. <laughs> She's a crabhead. She is a crabhead. Crab I'll give you that. All right, your idea, fuck mm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out. Next idea. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, uh, here we go. Um, so, th- this was kind of funny. Um, it's called Fake News. Basically, we all just brainstorm all week. We have, a, we have a, a trivia contest where we all write fake headlines, but one of the headlines is real. I love that. I love that. And, and so they have to go through and guess it, but it's all our funny stuff. And some of them can just be like, you know... Uh, oh, obese woman down. kills person with bag of fudge rounds or whatever. You know, yeah. like it could be anything we want. You know, I had fake. I had fake news written down. You too. think it's good? Uh, yeah. How wild would it have been like cocaine bear? That's, oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. You take something that's outrageous and then yeah, real and people would just. Kyle, what do you think about yeah. that? Yeah, no, I like that. I uh, I had something yeah similar later in the list. Um, <laughs> it was uh. Uh, fake weather segment. Fake weather. Yeah, we're yeah, you know, Blake Fortner or Kyle Gilbert. But you just hold on. What? Fake weather? You just tell them weather that's not authentic. No, we we and yeah. they kind of like just forecasting the weather. Yes. But it's not real. Right. So you go, it's going to rain tomorrow, and then tomorrow it doesn't rain, and then no, they're no, like, no, oh, like, we really got it's, me. It's more like we give somebody that has no prompting and says, all right, you're the weatherman, and then we project something over them, and then they have to be the weatherman. Oh, like give them a teleprompter? Yeah. This is like I a like segment. That. No, yeah. yeah I like that is yeah, a segment. Okay. That's a segment. Okay, yeah. yeah the, segment. Fake, the fake weather. I didn't know we were doing segments. That, that'd be different. Well, that'd be contents? different. That'd be different than the. What what room is JJ Compoyanos in? I think we need to get him out here so we can list some of these ideas. So you listen. Have you out. been watching some of JJ Compoyanos' memes? <laughs> He's doing memes in a second language and they're freaking awesome, dude. Very funny. <laughs> Wait, you're out there in Spanish? No, he's he speaks Spanish, but he's doing memes. For the crab heads in English, and they're better than the memes I can do in English. But is he putting your spit and shit in Spanish? I think you can no. in Spanish. You think I would do good? Yeah. I would do it. Take it up for Mr. Beast, yeah. dude. I do like a, I like a good Freddie Fender song. 
You remember Freddie Fender? No. He do half the song yeah, in English. Drop falls. <laughs> You're so old. He would do. Uh, yeah, I am old because I had <laughs> I had a Freddie Fender eight track. I used to listen to as a kid. He would do half the song. He he'd be like, "I'll be there before the next teardrop falls." And the next verse would be like, "E tu e de se a e verdad." He'd sing it in English and then sing it in Spanish. Vicente Fernandez. Continue. All right, next idea. <laughs> All right, yeah. Is it your turn, Conrad? Uh, X Files story night. Comedians go up and talk about it like an ex-girlfriend. Uh-huh. I mean, that's like half their material. Oh, that's gosh. like one of That's pretty. Dude, no, you, that's who? If you like listening to women complain, that is the show for you. Thumbs down. I got, I got good complaints. All it right. would be worse right. than the way. That they can play it as an Wade open v. Rowe? I like oh. yours. <laughs> um, Sorry. Did you say Wade V. Rowe? No. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Marker. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, okay. Your political I'm going to end on this one. Let's let's end the pod on this one. You ready? I, I, well, okay. <laughs> Damn, well, look at you. Damn, whose pod is this? Yeah, no shit. Real uh-huh. name, no gimmick. Real name, no gimmick. I got a thing of cigars here, guys. You ain't and smoked I, a single one. I know. That's what I'm saying. I want to go outside. It's, oh, okay. it's enough with this. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Um, not that I'm not really enjoying it. I mean, it is really, really good. Good time. Um, 150 feet of cable. And a okay. Here we right. go. You ready? This is called Build a Tower. Okay. So what we do is we've got a bunch of balsa wood, popsicle sticks, uh, glue guns and stuff. And we've got like a little uh, cube, like plastic thing. And there's all these sticks, you know, little bamboo stick stuff. And the rule is you can build any tower you want to build uh, as long as it fits inside this. And then each team has 30 minutes to build that. And at the end, we put the tower like over a post and we stack weights on it. And whoever holds the most weights wins. Ladies and gentlemen, free falling. Your guitar is up 10, is it? No, that's it's not. That's all you do. What are you doing? That's me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, free fall. <laughs> <laughs> Idea sex. Conrad, end us on one. Um, <laughs> this one just says fake book report. And give a comedian a book that they've never read and make them, you know, speak extemporaneously on it. Oh, God. I hope it's like a really good book. Like, well known. That, War and that Peace. People know. How yeah. are you going to get a comedian to read a book? Of my they can't That's show the up to point. They don't time. read the, the book. They don't read, but they have to give a They have to give a book, book report on a book oh, they haven't so read. You give them a book like The Secret, and then they get up there and they go, like, I got, a McDonald secret. Once said, I got a secret about me and Kyle Real's mom that uh, I've never told before. Yeah. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to the podcast. This is the Bachelor Science Podcast. I'm sure we. We, we covered a lot here. Um, we covered a lot. Thank you to all the crab heads out there and St. Crab Posse. Thank you to Summit Racing Equipment. <laughs> uh, I feel like we had a good podcast tonight, and Summit Racing Equipment Fender Guitar did really well. My ideas could have been better, but that's on me. Support the team. This next one just says gay chicken. <laughs> East side till I die, baby. <laughs> Scooter! <laughs> all right, let's see here. Parker. Gave you one more. And oh, again. shit. Bad news, boys. Hmm. It wasn't recording. Well, I did my job. I don't know.